Hello YouTube. Here is a quick video about updating the firmware on your Vizio M series 5.1.2 home theater surround bar with Dolby Atmos and DTS X. Ninja actually has two of these soundbars and she really loves the audio quality, but what she's not been so keen on recently is some connectivity issues. Is that right, Ninja? Ninja? Yeah, she, she was having problems with the Bluetooth, which kept cutting out, and also the HDMI eARC, uh, which was the output from the TV, which would cut out sometimes. Uh, it was getting quite annoying, wasn't it, Ninja? Yeah, she's really, she was not happy with it. So um, what I did was update the firmware on the unit in the house, in the living room, and I'm about to do the unit in the office. You, she's getting bored now, okay. Um, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm gonna show you how to do it now, and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes I did and nearly brick your unit. Right, here we go. So the first thing to do is go to your unit and press the up and down volume keys at the same time if we can fit my fat fingers in here for five seconds and then you will hear one two three four five six. firmware version there we go one dot three dot zero dot three what a voice and then you can google for the firmware update and go to the visio page here and what you'll find is a download link. You can see that the current firmware is supposed to be 2.1.0.4, so we are quite far behind. And you'll find a set of instructions that are not very useful or helpful. Download the most up-to-date version here. You will see we get update.bin. Don't do what I did and assume this is a zip file and needs extracting. Just leave it as it is. You will need a USB thumb drive because the soundbar does not have Wi-Fi to update itself because it's dumb. Crucially, you need to format your thumb drive in, not in Mac OS extended, but in MS-DOS FAT. So here we go. I am working on a Mac because I am better than you. So here we go, formatting. Done. Right, let's go out of that. Drag it down onto your, go on, go on, go on, you can do it. Uh, oh, where is it? There. It's gone right. Done. Eject, eject, pull up. Now we need to unplug our power cable. And then I need to contort myself and plug in the thumb drive into the USB socket there. And now prepare for update as the power cable goes in. Now the instructions will tell you that the lights will flash and then they will flash again to let you know that it's done and it will take up to two minutes. Here we go, here we go. What's going on? So this didn't really mean much to me. I assumed that meant it was done, so I pulled out the thumb drive and I thought I'd bricked the sound bar, but fortunately I hadn't. I could just restart it all over again. So I waited two minutes and this went on. The lights went up and up and up. And eventually it announced something or other. I can't quite remember. Let's see what it says. Oh, progress, look at this but it's still not done. Don't fall into the trap of believing that it's done. It's not. This might be the last light to light up. Are we there yet? It has been longer than two minutes. Oh, 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 it said something. What did it say? Searching for active input. Oh, oh, that's good. That's a good sign. So let's see. Let's hold Bluetooth. down. Bluetooth. Yes. Holding down the pairing buttons. To... Shush. Pairing. No. Pairing. No. 
Peering. No, I'm trying to find out the firmware version. Peering. Oh, for goodness. Peering. Peering. In pairing mode. No, I don't. To pair, search for the Vizio soundbar in want Bluetooth to go settings into on pairing. your device. I don't want to go into pairing. pairing. I don't want to go into pairing mode. I'm just going to turn you off. Okay, try again. Volume buttons, five seconds. One, two, three. Four. Firmware Four. version two <gasps> dot one dot zero dot four. Yes, we are updated. Thank you for watching.